What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you stopping by to check it out as always. You guys are the bomb. So I'm trying to put out a little bit more educational videos, how-to videos, how to install things uh, on my journey with this brand new 2018 Kawasaki Ninja ZX6. So I'm really excited. So some of the small things I'm doing to the bike, you may have seen, you may have not seen. So I appreciate you guys sticking by. So today we're gonna install the stem ram mount. So <laughs> I don't know why, but like, I need GPS, man. I just, I just need it. The GPS is like life sometimes when you're riding. You, you just ride and you have no idea where you're going. You're just turning and then you end up five hours from your house. How do I get back to where I live? Uh, I have no idea. So this is gonna be a little bit of a video for installation on how you install that stem ram mount. Hopefully make it easy for you guys. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video and give it a thumbs up if you like it. As you guys can see, there are a few different pieces for installation that is included in this kit when you purchase it. You have like a little ram ball head, some bolts, washers, sizing rings, and of course, your instructions. All right, so what we're gonna do is insert this piece here. This is like the little plug. It's gonna go inside your stem mount. So I'll give it a little bit of pressure I'm not gonna force it in, but just to give it a little pressure. Then I'm gonna turn it, because what we're gonna do is that's gonna mark where we actually need to cut this. So I'll turn it a couple times, and then it kind of made like a little light marking. I could see where that was. So I'm gonna cut exactly that piece here. So what we're gonna do is where we plug the bike up is literally gonna cut it right on that mark. So this is our little plug there. So the instructions say cut one inch from the bottom. So it'll be one inch, one inch from the top and then one inch from the actual bottom of this. So I'm gonna put on my ruler here. So I'm gonna cut that right from the bottom of the plug. Cool, that's it. So what we'll do is we have the ram mount here Wash, the little bolt goes through the top. Then we'll put washer. Then you put this piece here. So that kind of goes on. See, I, mean, I cut a little bit. I didn't cut enough because the bolt is really not sticking out there. But this is gonna, we're gonna have to pick the actual one, which is going to fit the bottom of your cut. There we go. So you got a little more meat on that bone. So then you have your Allen key. I'm using a three millimeter. And I'm literally gonna kind of thread it through a little bit just so it catches and starts to dig those teeth into the bottom of that rubber piece. All right guys, so I had to cut my stem mount way shorter than they suggested just because it's not going through. So, uh, hopefully this works and it should look something like this. From that point, it should literally just kind of pop right in here. And then, tighten this bad boy up. It's pretty good. It's in, it's sturdy. I mean, it's a phone. It's not really gonna, I mean, I'm, I'm giving it like a lot of force. You can see the whole bike is shaking. This, thing is still in there good so one or two more turns for good measure the thing's in there really tight so I think it's okay I think it's good to go and then you just put your mount here and you're, you're set so let's install the mount on this you can get a shorter mount which I'll probably wind up doing eventually just because it kind of blocks the key a bit then this goes here. 
I'm definitely gonna get a, this is a little bit too long, but this is what I had from the old bike. So maybe we'll do a little bit of a little angle there, something like this, because it's gonna block the keyhole. There we go, give it a couple little tightens there. Pretty solid. So there you go guys, everything's installed. You would have like this little foam protection that it comes with there. I think I'm definitely gonna invest in a smaller actual bracket itself, but this is pretty much it. So if you wanna do a front GoPro thing, I mean, this is really sturdy, this is not going anywhere. Like I said, I'm shaking the bike and this thing's not moving. So there you have it guys, that's how you install the Ram stem mount. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. It does help the channel grow and stay tuned for more installation videos and how to's. I appreciate it guys and we'll see you in the next one.